Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome to Total War Warhammer 3, and the first part of a brand new Patreon supporter campaign with Grimgor Ironhide. There he is. Here we go indeed. Now, as a Patreon supporter campaign, this first episode will be out for everyone. Every subsequent episode will be only out for Patreon supporters. If you'd like to sign up to be a Patreon supporter, head over to the link in the description and you can sign up. It's like a quid a day or whatever that is and you'll heed the money. And you'll be able to get the rest of the campaign as it comes out and also vote on the things at the end of each campaign and also what we play next. If you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. And the rest of the campaign will be out after it has, it has completed. So you don't have to, but if you'd like to, that's the... that's the yeah, Basically, the first one's free and then I jack up the price. Look, it, it works. Works for drug dealers. It, it could work for me. So anyway, that's what we... Apart from, obviously, once someone's had all the drugs, they don't then get all the drugs for free afterwards. That's not how that... At least, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how that whole side of society works, to be honest. It's, it's a very... I'm very much a fish out of water. I'm just going to stop talking about drugs. Anyway, so... We, we did vote for the Grimgore Iron High campaign. A little bit of a surprise. Thought it would be Skarsnick. It was quite close, but it, it was it was 42% to 47%. So, I mean, poor old Grom only got 2%, but there we go. Anyway, so we've got Grimgore Ironhide. We start off in the mount or the dark, well, sort of north of the Darklands, in the mountains of Moor. Is this mountains of Moor? It is, yes. Uh, we've got Archeon to our north. There's Village and Cathay to our east. To the west is the World Edge Mountains. So, very much the world is our oyster. Uh, we also have underway travel as well, so obviously that's going to help us in the mountains. Obviously, uh, the ogres live in the mountains. There. We've also got green skin tribes hanging around. I think, I think, uh, what's his name? The big dragon ogre guy. What the fuck's his name? That guy, big hammer, crackling lightning eyes. Him, whatever the fuck his name is. He's over there as well somewhere. We've got Scram de Ruffy. Ooh, that's right. He's he's a rough one. Ooh, he's a tough customer. Uh, he is a, a black orc big boss. So obviously he gets those, uh, those nice little nice little traits. Uh, what would we want? I mean, I, I do like the Vigor Loss Reduction for Orc units. That's quite nice. Arm to the teeth. Um, line crack is not bad. But, I mean, this would be good, obviously, if he's an agent. But we'll probably, probably do boss at a field. I guess. Because that's going to give us back some... Uh, Smash him faster. Oh, yeah. Affects all allies in range. That's actually quite useful. Okay. So, pop him in our army. Good. Someone needs to. So, we start off with Saber Mountain. Saber Mountain. Saber Mountain. Fills you with sweet, sabery goodness. And our first objective is to kill the Tusked Sons over here to our east. So, obviously, our first sort of like... Our... our what would you call it? A parity farmy? Every, almost every faction has like a little parity farmy, which you can always attack on the first turn. Some of them are harder than others. And our objectives, well, victory. So we have a short campaign victory, which is control. Right, Great Hole of Greasers, Black Crag, Crooked Back Mountain, Kazakarak. So we've got some settlements we need to sort of like control there. In Hanyu Port, really. Uh, we need to occupy, raise, or sack 30 different settlements. That will give us the short victory achieved. Long victory, we need to basically beat up all of the other greenskin tribes and do 75. That'll give us the long victory. And then obviously, domination is to have uh, 272 different settlements loot, raised, or sacked. I have got the crisis turned on and they are currently set up to 200% and the default of 100 to 120 turns or 150 turns. I can't remember what the default is. So sometime between that point, we will have a crisis spawn. They're all turned on. What we get, I don't know. Fingers crossed it's not the fucking Wood Elves, because I hate those guys. Never mind, let's start off. That's the plan. First battle of a brand new campaign. Oh, you got some trolls. Uh, what can I do about trolls? Well, you are anti-large, so I guess maybe you'll be killing the trolls. It's about the only thing that Orc Boy Boy Biggins are good for, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, 
Almost every first battle in a brand new campaign has that brand new campaign battle smell. Ah, it's bits of goblin. Bits of goblin everywhere, but no jam because I don't have it yet. But soon, with any luck. Hashtag soon. So the enemy army is meandering through the trees. Well, our goblin doom divers do their good work. There's Grimgore. All is. I guess there's been a bit of a graphical upgrade. It's good. Also, you know, the sound disappears when I zoom in close. That's that's a bug. Definitely aware of that. It's fine. And at scram there. The Blackhawk big bosses are pretty pretty scary boys. Grimgore now charging in with his lads. On the right flank, you see the boar boys moving in. Crashing in against the orc boys, but the black orcs moving to assist. And then the trolls coming in behind them, but our bell boy begins then charging them in the rear. The enemy boar boys trying to break away, but now they're surrounded and they're trapped. They ain't going nowhere. The boar boys, they're even worse than boar boy begins. I mean, not by much, though, to be fair. Um, they're really not actually that... They have shields. In some ways, the boar boys are slightly better. Fucking hell. What is boar boys? Why? Question mark. Uh, the enemy war boss is currently dueling... What's his name? Gl Glugzag. is, is dueling Scram de Ruffy. And Grimgore's turned up as well to help out. And that means that Glugzag here, well... His his life is currently over. Come back, you little shit. Oh. And he's dead. Okay. Well, that was a nice, easy first, first battle. Uh, let's take the replenishment, I think, to start off with. Because we're going to head right on to Ice Spewer here. Now, I should say that we, we do have some scrap upgrades. Now, obviously, each Lord starts off with, like, special scrap upgrades. Now, for Grimgore, he has the Immortal's Armor, which is pretty shit. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, it, it makes... Your black orcs cause fear, which is fine, I guess. Um, and also increase their leadership by 10. Now, the leadership's already pretty good anyway. Um, to be honest, you're probably better off with either jagged or longer weapons. Um, they're just better. So, that that's the whole thing. Uh, I, ge I guess adding more bonus versus large would make the boar boys at least relatively useful. I mean, they are quite cheap, but as cavalry goes, they're pretty bad. Even the boar, like, not just the boar, the boar boys are just fucking terrible. The biggins are slightly better, but not by much. Um, obviously, we have the Raiden camp, which is quite nice. But I think to start off with, we're just going to go... Because I don't think we can do anything here. Save a safe amount of... Well, do, can we do anything diplomacy-wise? Who are these guys? Right, you got my attention. Hello. What's do you want a non-aggression pack? I kind of want to be heading into the mountains this way. So, I'm kind of like... Shall we just get some cash off you? Let's and Then I don't have to worry about you for a minute. Because, you know, I can only be going in one direction. And obviously... To help us go in one direction, we're going to get Root Marcher. Now, obviously, Grimgore does have his, his own little skill tree there. So he gets extra hero capacity for Black Orc big bosses. And a passive, best of the best, which gives everyone no enabled if no enemy lord or hero presence in ability range. Right, so there's no enemy. Then he get is that right? Okay, I think, maybe. Okay, Black Orc Wrecking Ball, which makes our Black Orcs better. That's good. Big Renada, which makes our Black Orcs and Savage Orc Biggins. Oh, Orc Biggins and Savage Orc Biggins better. That's good. Imposing Presence, which makes him cause fear and terror. Um, vitamin Shrooms. So, 
he's on the mushrooms, and also Frenzy, which, you know, giving Grimgore Frenzy, I mean, that's, that's a mood. It says medium casualties. I reckon we can do, it's, it's goblins, it's a horde of goblins. It's a bloody, right, okay, we'll just, we'll just go in, give him a good drop in. We can do this with minimal casualties, in my opinion. Let's do... Yeah, exactly. More... Good... Good... Spunk Goblin. Spunk Goblin? That's something completely different. I don't know what that would be. No, Goblin... He's, he's got, goblin has spunk, but not in... Not like in a I stolen it kind of way. Although being a Goblin... Maybe he has, I don't know. He might have some stolen spunk. I, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I haven't searched him. I've not frisked him. He's definitely got stolen stuff on him, but quite what that stolen us stuff is, we, we just we just don't know. We just we have no. Uh, 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 anyway, Grimgore is currently charging towards. The, uh, they're running away. I'm not surprised to be honest. Uh, Bog Grub Bootlicker is currently fleeing in the direction as Grimgore closes in. I'm a little bit concerned about the Goblin Archers who could potentially cause some issues for our Black Orcs because the AI does really like to shoot Black Orcs to pieces. With, uh, with arrows. Fortunately, the goblins are just going to sit there while Grimgore goes and uh, turns them into some sort of gooey paste, like a pate type thing. Scram, the ruffy. He does love his rough housing. Has found some goblins to kick the shit out of. You better run, you little green bastards. And then our boys throwing themselves against the Goblin Wolf Riders, who will not do particularly well against Orc Boys. They're good at hunting down archers and stuff, but against Orc Boys, they're gonna, they're gonna struggle. Trying to take out these archers with, ooh, nice hits with Goblin Doom Divers. If you don't know what Goblin Doom Divers are, they're goblins that fling themselves at the enemy with a big spiky hat on their head. That's... That's that, that's all artillery for you. They're literally goblins. They put wings on. They try and fly. It doesn't work very well, but it doesn't put them off. You know, they they keep trying, like the Wright brothers, but obviously with less success and significantly higher body count. Still, at least they enjoy themselves. That's the, that's the thing I like about green skins. They just enjoy themselves. They're just having a lovely time. Like, even in Warhammer 40,000, the grim darkness of the far future. They're just like, hey, this is cool. Humanity defending itself on all fronts. They're all like, way, look at this. There's just fights. Free fights all over the place. This is great. Some orcs truly believe that the Warhammer 40,000 universe is basically the promised land. Like, they were really good in the previous life. They've died and they've gone to the best place ever where they just get fights all the time. And fair play to them. Where the heck? Guys! You forgot the rest of the Lads? That get the fuck it. Oh, get out. All right, so far so good. The ball I've remembered the ball boys exist, and I've brought them in to help, so that's nice. Uh, the scram, just he's just killed a lot of goblins. Then they charge, slamming into what's left of the goblin wolf riders and uh, goblin infantry. Grimgore and the black orcs are murdering their way through more... I mean, there was only one unit of orcs here. The rest of it was goblins, so it was never going to be a particularly... particularly tough fight. And off they go. Okay, well, that was pretty... Ooh, potion of toughness. That's actually going to come in useful for Grimgore. I think we'll just occupy. 
And we want... Now, green skins have a much better economy now. You can get a 500 on the horde. Holy shit. To be honest, I think economy across the board has been improved, which is really nice. Uh, let's go dead art. Now, obviously we want as much growth as possible, but we need to take down Blizzard Peak first. Uh, there are a bunch of... Ogre tribes. I guess maybe if we peace out with these guys. Then we can sort of head down in this direction, because obviously these guys are our main target. They actually have granite spikes down there. So if we want to head down into these mountains, maybe, that could be a good option. Obviously we'll get war. Seeing as it's the only thing, you know, we can do. And let's get some more orcs, because orcs. And maybe some more goblin archers. Just a you know, little, bit, little bit of missile support. We may not need it. Obviously, my preference is just to beat everyone into the dirt with, with my big green boys. But having a, having a little bit of extra range support, just in case... I mean, they're not particularly good, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we get more reputation. Each turn, we're currently at uh, Mobster, because once we hit the Call to War, we can pick a settlement. Uh, the boys, Orc Infantry. Yeah, let's, let's do that. As soon as our army is mostly going to be, you know... Always. Alright, let's just head straight for these guys. No point. No point pussyfooting around. Oh, there he is. It's... Uh, no, yeah, no, Kolek. That's his name. I knew it was there. It's one, one of them. I think those guys might be... We might end up with uh, being at war with Kolek sooner rather than later. Do you want to go faster? More campaign movement range? That sounds quite nice. Uh, go bigger or go home. I mean, more armor for orc infantry and weapon strength and the scrap bonuses for orc boys may be quite useful. But more campaign movement range is not to be sniffed at. It's, it's just nice to have. Now, it should be said the campaign turn time. I mean, okay, the, the end turn times do take a little while. I don't think they take as long as Mortal Empires took when it first came out. But, obviously, there's only so much they can do with the sheer number of factions now currently on the map. And the number of factions is probably going to grow. Right. Valiant defeat. They've got a fucking giant. Where the fuck did you get a giant from, you lunatics? It's going to be a tough... Do we just want to encircle them, see if they want to come out to play? Let's just uh, siege him down a little bit. Let's see if we can do something like that. I'm a little bit worried about Kolek over here. That looks... That looks... Can still we just go for it just in case Kolek... I mean, I'd say just in case. I mean, for when Kolek decides to declare war on us. What city is it? Let's have a look. Let's scout the terrain. Come on, hurry up. Um... Oof. I I think it might be worth it. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna we're using some some mork tactics or gork tactics, which, whichever. As we had hidden some units behind the settlements, hidden some trees. They are now heading in this direction, coming into the settlement from behind to grab this objective here. Hopefully, what that'll do is pull some units away from the front line. 
and uh, we may get into city and be able to do some shenanigans there. Meanwhile, the goblin archers are my main concern. We need to deal with them. Obviously, they'll shoot me to pieces, if not. Uh, the giant is the other concern. So what I've done is I've decided that uh, we're going to concentrate every piece of missile fire. Now, I like giants. I think giants are fun. And I would like my own giant, but an enemy giant is a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're just going to fill it full of arrows. And uh, that should that should see it off fairly quickly. What thing, something I like about giants, they've got a lot of melee attack and a lot of weapon strength. They are, however, a tall target, and if they get shot by, you know, a lot of missile fire, that, that's bad for them. Still, we, we should be fine dealing with that giants. The orc boys moving in from all directions, engaging goblins. The black orcs are held back, so they can't be shot to pieces. So Grimgore is attacking up this little valley. We've got uh, Scram is heading up this valley. We've got this little attack coming from the rear. We are dealing with that giant. There we go. The giant is now running away. And down he goes. It's a shame. I hate to see a dead giant, but, you know, he was hitting me with his big club. Didn't want it. Unfortunately, our orc boys took a lot of damage from that giant. But we have a spare unit of boys held in reserve to deal with that problem. And then our archers should be able to help out as we push forward. So far, so good. Obviously, we can use the black orcs to uh, the best of their ability to maybe carve through this. There are some goblin archers there that aren't currently engaged. That's a bit of a problem. Meanwhile, we do have the orc boys coming in to attack this objective. Slamming into the flank there with our own unit of orc boys. This unit of orc boys is going to flank around. And these boar boys, I was hoping to, to get both of these units of orcs engaged then bring the boar boys in from behind. But it seems like the boar boys have got the attention of these orc boys and they are chasing them. And they can stay out of reach, so it's not really a problem. And I can use two of these, uh, two of my units to engage one of theirs and hopefully wipe it out before the any more reinforcements arrive. But we do have some goblins um, actually... Well, they're running away from Grimgore, to be fair. Grimgore's actually almost reached this little engagement up here so he can help take this objective. I was tempted to bring my Orc War Boys down to grab this objective, but there is the Orc War Boss here. Uh, this is Ardra, full of teeth. Better see a dentist then, I guess. Mind you, Orc teeth just regrow. They just regrow. That's why they use it as currency. Because, you know, the teeth disintegrate after a while. It's the perfect... The, the Orcs have got the perfect economy. So chasing these goblin archers. We're managing to break through over here. This is looking pretty good. What was left of our unit of orc boys has returned to the fight. And our archers can help push this objective over here. Scram is going to help push this objective over here. But there's a lot of units and we're going to be spread out quite a bit. So maybe a little bit of maybe a little bit of a problem over there. Over here, the orc boar boy biggins cavalry. Orc boar, I did say boar. Orc boar boy biggins. Engage these orc boys in the rear. I mean, they don't have a great charge bonus, but they really need it because their melee attack is only 23. It's pretty, pretty shit. Pretty garbage. Grimgore is murdering goblins. I mean, barely worth his attention, but he's doing it anyway. He's got a fantastic work ethic. And then these orc boar boys. Oh, boys, for fuck's sake, engaging these goblin archers. Going to wipe them out. You can see lots of rousing starting to happen over there, which is great. Meanwhile, the black orcs have broken through. They're now murdering everything that they can get their hands on. It's what they do. So as they push that way, the orc archers, sorry, orc archers, the goblin archers, can go and grab this objective. We mop up there. So, we are starting to gain ground on all sides. We've grabbed this objective. I mean, wherever Grimgore is, the enemy will die. The Boar Boys are taking a little bit of a beating there. Meanwhile, this side of the city is a little bit less sure. Both of these units are pretty beaten up. We do have the archers, though. But we've got another fresh unit of Orc Boys defending this objective and some goblin wolf riders rolling around. Meanwhile Scram is killing some goblins. He's very good at that actually. We used it in the last battle. He just murdered his way through a horde of goblins and he's doing the same thing just right there. Over here the orc boys winning again. Yep winning. 
You're winning slightly. Combat even. Well, I don't think it is. And over here, this is a little bit more dicey, as some Goblin Wolf Riders coming in. I mean, we should be okay over there, but uh, it's less... It's less ideal, less optimal. Having secured this objective, we're now pushing further. I'm hoping to maybe grab this objective, the key building there, and of course the Orc Warlord. Could be killed by Grimgore. That would cause a bit of a rout, which would be nice. Okay, we've got a big engagement over here as the Orc Boys... It's Orc Boy on Orc Boy action. Hot Boy on Boy action. But, to even the odds somewhat, we're moving our Goblin Archers behind so that we can sprinkle them liberally with arrow fire. That should do the trick. Over here, Scram still fighting these goblins. He's killed. He's got. He's got. He's got 77, 78 kills under his belt. Seventy nine kills. Not. Not much that. Of that is damage dealt as gold value. So obviously he's been killing goblins. Here comes Grimgore. He spotted the orc war boss. Is that a shaman? Nope. It's an orc war boss. It's like, is he a shaman? Nope. I thought he had a staff for a second, but he does not. Grimgore, can you just kill him, please? Thank you. We've left a unit of Orc Boys here to hold that objective, just in case any of these rallying units get any ideas. Grabbing this objective with these Orc Boys. Again, quite beaten up there, but victorious. And the Black Orcs, 105 kills, currently heading back this way. Going to go across the bridge, grab this objective. Assuming that the battle lasts that long because Grimgore and the Orc war boss are now dueling ish a little bit Grimgore can you just kill him please Grim Grimgore Grim Th thank you thank you okay not great over here these Orc boys losing that engagement due to the arrow fire a little bit close here as well Scram though 120 kills he's basically just chewed through that unit of, go of goblins no problem Orcs starting to run this way but We've now got that rear rear arc with our archers, and uh, they are going to be making very short work of those orc boys. A lot of damage coming in there. They obviously can't use their shields because they're facing the wrong direction. As long as those orc boys can just hold them for long enough, we should, should be able to whittle them down. Look at that. So quick. Okay, routing going on over here. Oh, and there we go. There is the mass route. Looks like Grimgore has been beating up the Orc War Boss. A lot of damage, but I felt it was more Grimgore to just, you know, go for it. Frankly, I think it was a bit unsporting of them to have a drag a dragon giant. It's basically the same thing. Um Good. So, right, we will occupy that one. Now we have the entire province. So we can oh hello. Oh, of course. I'd forgotten you could do that. So we could release the enemy warlord. Do I? Mm, yeah. Nah, we'll confederate him. Ooh, potion of strength. And uh, Scram de Ruffy has got a, got a ball boy. We did take quite a lot of damage during that battle. But the important thing is that we won. Great and powerful war boss. You're fired. Let's go. Bring it. You're fired. So. Let us. Do I just want to replenish all these? Or shall I? I'm just going to recruit some more replenish, I think. Let's do that. Right. Camp Ruckus. More control, more growth, less corruption. That sounds good, especially seen as we're now bordering Colex Sun Eater. He has three fucking Dragon Ogres. That's fine. That is absolute. I'm not concerned. Let's let's get the boys. That way they get 34 and uh, 30 weapon strength, which is pretty good. It's not bad. Scram- okay, you're gonna get deadly blades. Okay, uh, d now, Scram, do you have 
you don't have. Right, you can have the potion of strength. I, I kind of like having the potion of toughness for Grimgore because if he gets in trouble, I can heal him up. If Scram gets in trouble, I don't, you know, obviously I don't want to lose him. But if he were to die, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, Grimgore dies. That's a problem. I mean, not a, a major problem, but it certainly would be a real kick in the nuts. Okay, the fact that Kolek hasn't declared war on me is good. Let us upgrade this first. I think we just need to, unless we just merge them and... There we go. Then we just recruit more of them. See? Problem solved. Problem solved. That That is a problem. If we can get some biggins, if we can get some orc biggins, we should be able to... You know, they're anti-large. So they should be... Uh, do we just... Do we just... Do we just give Kolek the old one too? Do we just charge in there and kill Kolek while he's not looking? I feel like the best the best time to take on a skyscraper-esque ancient elect electric monstrosity is probably when his back's turned. But maybe when we got some big ones. Uh, good. Uh, no. Income from post-battle loot, maybe. I, I think we want to go bigger, because then we can get heavy metal. Let's go. Do we just... Do we just... My rage is eternal! There is nothing I want but your obliteration! Okay, so Ferrero Roche probably not going to have much effect on him. He does just have the one settlement at the moment. Here we go. Do we just, like... See if we can kill... I just, like, th three Dragon Ogres. Seems like a lot of Dragon Ogres. And we can't get bigger to level three. Shit. We can get all Cara boys. Oh, we can get Nasty Skulkers. That's something. I mean, it's not... It's not what I need. It's not what I need. Do we maybe go and kill... Because these... These guys have... Have the rest of this... No, who has this? Eagle, airy, gorge. Yeah, so these guys have got the rest. To be honest, I was gonna. We we need we need biggins to deal with the with the ogres. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, so they don't have many ogres. Do we just go and give them a kick in the nuts while they're not worth looking? I mean, if we're gonna kick someone in the nuts, let's let's do the ogres. Take their stuff, and then we can worry about Colec later when we've got something to maybe deal with three units of dragon ogres. Who? I don't know who that fucking is. Do we just go for it? They will have a garrison. But do we just go, fuck it. Just go and kick our ass. Oh, so they've got an army there. And, I mean, we could do the old the old trick. Uh, Blizzard Peak is probably... Well, mm, 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 yeah, no, Blizzard Peak. So, I mean, these guys are, are fairly chill at the moment. I think Archaon starts... Does he start, like, over here? Maybe he start, I think he maybe starts over here, actually. Yeah, he does. He starts over here somewhere. Um, so he's not um, an urgent consideration. Do we just... I'm tempted just to say, let's, let's go for it. We, do we not have the scrap? We've got 78 scraps. So we could always give Immortals armor, but I just don't see the point. It doesn't seem that useful. Yeah, fuck it. Grimgore loves a good scrap. And if this doesn't give him one, I don't know what will. Let's get in there, lads. We need to smash this army first, and then we can deal with the enemy reinforcements. 
Now, the initial army is mostly just Noblars. There are a couple of units of Ogres. One of which... Look at little Scram. Charging in there to go and beat up some... Some Ogre Bulls. Now, I've... I've loaded some of my more... Powerful units on my right flank. So the Orc Boar Boy begins. And the Black Orcs are here on the right flank. So obviously when the reinforcements arrive, they are there to deal with them. Oh, Ogre's charging into the Greenskins there. Once that charge bonus wears off, though, we should have the upper hand. Also, we have some Archers. And the problem with Ogres is that they're slowly, slightly taller than infantry, which means they will get riddled with enemy missile fires because it's shooting over their heads. Lots of arrows currently embedded in those Ogres. They are not enjoying that. And as such, they break almost immediately and run. Meanwhile, Grimgor has found the enemy Tyrant. They're currently seeing who is the biggest and the baddest. And it's going to be Grimgore, I'm going to be honest. Although, you know what? The, the Ogre Tyrant does not have bad stats. It's not actually far off what Grimgore has himself. But still, Grimgore seems to have the upper hand there. Elsewhere, just hordes of Noblars for our green skins to deal with. Enemy reinforcements have arrived on the field. The ball boy is dealing with some Noblars there, taking a little bit of damage in return, but, you know, getting 56 kills with a damage value. There, there, there. Damage delta's value, gold value. That's words. I can do words. Me fail English? That's impossible. Of 101. Ooh. Hey, big spender. Okay, lots of ogre balls sort of massing on this side, trying to deal with with uh, Scram. But he seems to be fine. He seems to be... He's, he's just been chopping his way through these Ogre Balls. No worries. However, there may be some more Ogre Balls on the way. I mean, the Ogre Balls are one of their trashiest units. They're still not that bad. I mean, you know, they still have reasonable weapon strength, uh, melee attack, melee defense. And, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not great. They're not great. So we are reforming our lines. You can see we're pulling our boys back, bringing the archers up to help support the tyrant. What's this? Wounds will recharge if hit points less than 25%. And we see. Oh. Oh well. So using the Doom Divers to try and do a little bit of damage to them. Meanwhile, the the tyrant came back momentarily, but then got chopped down. Grimgore is the best and the baddest. Lots of these fleeing. I, I have to be a little bit careful of these boys because they probably will come back. Okay, big ogre battle. This, this flank is not doing particularly well against the Ogres. They've managed to smash through. And our boys being obliterated. Fortunately, we do have the Goblin Archers there to help out. So they need to concentrate fire on that flank and assist a little bit. Additional reinforcements are on the way. But they're not going to arrive in time. This Goblin's doing a lot of damage. I mean, you know, the Ogres do not have much armor. And they are a large target. Fortunately, the Boar Boys arriving just in the nick of time. Charging through some Noblars straight into those Ogres, getting their attention. One group of Ogres does break off and actually smashes into our Goblins. So we need to concentrate all of our missile fire on these guys to bring them down. Shoot them, you little green shits. There we go. They're off. They've had enough. The ball boys managed to break the ogre balls. But more ogre balls now charging in, so the ball boys are going to break away. They do not want to get bogged down in a big club fight, because that is not going to go well for them. So they need to get the hell out of there. But it's going to pull it's going to pull off a lot of ogres. That's right. A lot of ogres being pulled off by ball boys there. 
Fortunately, what that means is that they are marching right past our archers and getting filled full of arrows, which of course they do not like. There's a, a general Noblar unit there for some reason. I don't know why they make the Noblars the general. That seems like a weird shout. You think it makes more sense to have like an ogre unit as a general, but far be it from me. Oh, I need some magic. Grimgore, are you gonna are you gonna kill that lad? Are you just walking? No rush? You're just doing the cool cool guy slow move thing? You're not not in any rush to go and kill the the slaughter master? No? Okay. Okay. Oh, now that now you break into a run. All right. Well, I don't I don't think you're going to catch up with him to be honest. Even if he's got one leg. Well, that was a bloody good ruck, wasn't it? Uh, I think we probably want the replenishment. Because although we did beat them, there's still quite a few of them left. And they are going to come in as reinforcements. Although, um, yeah, there's, there's... It says decisive and low. I could just order resolve that. I'll just order it. It's mostly Noblars. It's fine. Victory over ogres. You're damn right. Holy shit. Kicked the ever-loving stuffing out of them. Is there rats at Karak Varag? Almost. Well, I was going to say certainly, but there doesn't seem to be any scave and corruption, so I'm going to maybe, maybe not. Still, we've got Gorger Rock. But we can only recruit goblins. And just out of principle, I'm not going to do that. I do like the Doom Diver catapult. But let's let's make Grimgore more killy. I think he deserves that. He's a big killy boy, and uh, you could be harder to hit. I mean, Black Orc big bosses are pretty fucking scary generally. What do we have here? You've got you've got all of these things. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. What do you actually do? Campaign movement range, upkeep reduction. War contains Black Orcs, and we get Black Orc. Do we only get the one Black Orc? It's just the one Black Orc big box, actually. Uh, ooh, Frenzy, a serial dancer. It's nothing, nothing scarier than a Black Orc big boss who can break out some moves. Truly a terrifying sight to behold. A quest has been issued, mighty okay. lord. Okay, right, wait. A great adventure beckons. Yeah. Be wary, though. Okay. For while the potential rewards are great, so uh -huh. too are the perils. Noted. Go on, back in your box, you creepy old bastards. Right. We want Eagle Eric. Now, we are... Do I want to, do I want to replenish for another turn? Do I want to do that? I can't... Well, hmm... I could head back into into the path to the east. God, that brawling grounds isn't actually that useful. What do we have here? Big fort at Saber Mountain. Oh, so you do have your your old thingy majig. That's nice, but we can only get your level four. That's okay. I kind of want to go more growth. What's the public order here? Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, it would give us access to a goblin big boss. Do we do that? I think we're doing that. Okay, we'll get we'll get the brawling grounds. Uh, if we, yeah, you're already recruiting. Okay, what we'll do then is we will merge all of you nerds and then replace any losses with more boys. There's something we'll never run out of: is boys. Okay, who are you, and why are you in my territory? Also, why are you taking attrition? It's not of interest. Oh, do you, you don't have any meat. Okay, we've got the growth. Unhappy populace. 
Where is... That's over there. Just as well we're building the boss tent, that will offset that event. Let's go. There we go. Alright, if we meander down here, then we can do some, some raiding. You actually like me because of the bad things I'm doing to the people you don't like. So that's good. And if we upgrade this, this will give us more growth, right? Because this one is 10 growth. That's 20 growth. So that gives us 10 more growth. Then we can upgrade that. That's going to give us another 10 growth. So, you know, growth. Yeah, we got it. Then we want to get heavy metal. It's going to cost us a little bit of scrap, but it does give us more armor and weapon strength for our orcs, which is all very nice. Um, it gives us more melee attack for orc infantry units, which is super good. I like that a lot. Basically, making my boys more killy, I am... Oh, I am fucking all about that, mate. It's fighting time, and yabbering time. Hello. Do you want an aggression pact? Um, you don't like those guys. You are down there. I'm, I'm not going to... No, I'm going to say no. Obviously, eventually, we'll have the Chaos Dwarves down here, which will sort of, you know, mix it up a little bit. So, can we give our boys... Oh, hello. 25% more weapon strength. I mean, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Why are we jiggling? Is jiggling a lot? Oh, the latest Monsters of Bounds video with hot jiggling. Well, not hot jiggling, just jiggling. Um, so that's going to give us more missile block chance and armor. But reinforced weapons gives makes us more killy. I mean... I'd be fucking stupid not to take that. 40, so basically, it like gives them an extra 10 weapon strength. Um, so that means they have an armor piercing of 11, which is pretty legit. I don't think you can have anything, can you? No. Um, so they're 20 each. So I can do another lot of you, something like that. There we go. So you will now have lots more. Increase my killing power, eh? That's what it does. Uh, that is, it says low casualties. I will probably take that. I'm going to put that on you for no particular reason. That's low casualties. Jesus Christ, auto resolve. Fuck me. Good grief. Off the bloody chain you are, mate. Ooh, a squig nest. The fuck did we get that from? Oh, exotic animals. Is that new? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, we'll give us squick hoppers, which are not bad. I think, I mean, you know, generally, we look at the squick hoppers here. 28, 20, 32. I mean, you look at that and you go, well, that's not actually far off these guys. The difference is, these guys got a speed of 70, which, if you think about it, actually isn't that fast. Like, they're quite slow cavalry, whereas the, the squick hoppers have got a speed of 82. Which, actually, I thought they were faster than that, but still, they also have Vanguard deployment, so screw you. That's why. All right, good. Um, we, we can also give them riders. Uh, we speak some, we should increase their speed and charge bonus. Oh, I'm going to, yes, more killy. I want Grimgord to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with friggin' Kolek and win. So, I think we're just going to build the growth building everywhere. Do these guys have any more settlements? Have we killed them? Are they all dead? Really? Oh, yeah. Nope, they did. I didn't, I didn't want to pay attention, but they're all dead now. Good! Good, here's the Darklands. Look at this. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? I like this. It looks cool. I like the Darklands in the realm of uh, of Chaos campaign, but this is this is neat. What the fuck? Why are there why is the vampiric corruption here? Oh, is it Lemian Sisterhood? Maybe. Lemian Sisterhood, maybe? Okay, well, I mean we've got two provinces under our belt, which is pretty good. I guess the question is now, where do we go? Do we want to go north into Kolek? Maybe beat up Kolek. Do you want to go south and secure the mountains? Do we want to go west 
into the into the Grey Mountains, or do we want to go east into Cathay? Now, looking at victory conditions wise, it does seem like it wants us to head in this direction, but we only need six of those, and military alliances. Can, I mean, Han Yu Port is there as well, so we could always, you know, grab one of those bad boys, something like that. So I'm gonna pop this pole up on the the Patreon supporter page. The Patreons can vote in it. And that will decide where we go next. In the meantime, the rest of this campaign will be coming out on Patreon until it's completed. And then it'll start coming out on YouTube as normal. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.